second issue is really about choice. I want the right to choose whether or not my tax dollars go towards funding the destruction and devaluing of human life. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is called to be pro-life. The unborn need someone to speak up for them. You can't just sit around. This needs to happen at home, at your church, at your school, everywhere. Every single person has the power to change the abortion laws in our country. Every single person has the power to save children's lives at the hands of abortionists and to save women from a lifetime of regret. But with great power comes great responsibility. Right now there actually isn't any law in Canada protecting the unborn and we really, really need to change that. The Canada's 400-year-old definition of human being is dishonest. It's wrong. As with most Canadians, it does no Canadian credit that there is no law in Canada on abortion. Please call! Upon the Prime Minister of this wonderful country, respectfully, listen to your people! Let the conversation begin! Prime Minister Harper, it's time to make space in there for people with another opinion. We believe that things can change. We care about abortion. We want it to end. We want to choose life over death. If you're pro-choice, I think you should reconsider. And if you're pro-life, I think you should get involved because I want Canada to have a bright future and with abortion that can't happen. When I was uh, you know just three months old you know my mom was uh, thinking of getting an abortion. She went to abortion clinic and you know she had one of those counselors come talk to her and thankfully you know because she did that now I'm here today. We can't expect people a society that doesn't want to talk about abortion to come and talk to us. We need to be the ambassadors. It's hard to believe how this generation has laws protecting you know Canadian geese eggs dogs and cats from cruelty and there's no legislation to protect you know human rights. You must continue this fight. You can see that it is only when the 70 percent across this country who want protection for the unborn step forward that governments will have the courage to actually deal with this issue. And we will have laws in the future there's no doubt in my mind. We are the